As the famous phrase goes, there's someone out there for everyone. Well, today, for one lady, there may be three. Tonight, one singleton will go on three blind dates. However, she can only decide to see one again. If indeed she wants to see any of them again. So will any of our romantic hopefuls find a perfect match in our lovely lady? Or is love reserved for another time? This is Romantic Reservations. Let's meet the lucky lady who will be looking for her love Lothario. I'm Rowie, 23, from Preston. I've, I can't say I've been really looking for love, just really looking for something to do. I mean, nothing has been as strong and as long as the Domino's delivery guy. That is the most solid, committed relationship I've ever been in in my life. In a guy, I usually look for nice looking, like a nice physique, um, can, can like hold a conversation, quite smart, well dressed, definitely well dressed. I'm just someone who can have a good time, is relaxed and easy to be around. Most recent relationship, I would say was with a guy that I knew from being a teenager and it ended really because he lived with his girlfriend and child and I didn't know. It's probably maybe a killer. The worst date I've ever been on. I've never really been on any dates. Not with anybody that I didn't know, so I've never really had a bad date. They've always, always been all right. I'm hoping today goes smoothly and quickly. That is my only hopes. I'm feeling pretty nervous right now. Well, I've recently got banned from driving due to the DVLA's standards of what they think can drive which I don't agree with if I'm honest because I feel like I'm a class A driver so it's just done my head in really if anything. I definitely want a guy that's clean and can tidy up after himself because I've lived in squalor for two years. Our first contestant, Stephen, has ambitions above the skies. My name's Stephen Dodd, I'm 20 and I'm a student at UConn. I've been looking for love about two years. My superpower would be the ability to fly. The most interesting thing about myself would be I love to travel, love to see the world, new cultures, new environments. I have never been on a blind date before. Will this blind date be love at first sight or will they fail to see eye to eye? Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Here. Preston? Yeah. Oh. You? Uh, Manchester. I'm from oh, OK. I don't know if you know. Stockport. Yeah, I do. I look for personality, uh, looks. Oh, right, OK, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I know about yeah. Do you go uni here? Yeah. Look to study? Retail management. What's that? <laughs> Retail management, come on. Come on. It sounds easy, but it's actually pretty hard, you know. <laughs> it's all right, it's just shop stuff. Oh, so like managing different shops? Yeah, that kind of thing. Do you? Oh, uh, yeah. I study strong conditioning. <laughs> Do what? It's, it's not hair, don't worry. What? Um, strength str conditioning? Strength and conditioning. What is that? Um, I basically want to train professional athletes in fitness. People who are into fitness really let it run their lives. Oh. So, I don't know if you're into oh, sport. Good. Not you? really, no. no. Eat a slice of cake, you weirdo. Like, what the heck? It's not going to kill you. Have a friggin' biscuit. Uh, I work in um, Oxford. So, oh. yeah, when I'm not in uni. So, travel down there. What did you do? I uh, work in a land surveying company. A what? <laughs> so basically, like uh, buildings, mm. the equipment we sell, uh, fix, clean, yeah. <sighs> Billy. Um, yeah, and just turn a bit of money. How long have you been doing that? Uh, started last summer, because my stepdad's the accountant for him. So oh, right, okay. Nice to get me a job. That's so, all right, then. Yeah, it's just earning me a bit of money. 
I get to go and travel. Why so Oxford, did you say? Yeah. Why that's like ages away, isn't it? Yeah, it's about two and a half hours. So. So what, like on holidays, you would just go down there and stay, like in Oxford? Pretty much, stay down there, drive back weekends, drive back on the Sunday. So pretty much, I just like tour England. That's a nightmare. <laughs> it's not actually. I enjoy it. I I enjoy it. What about so you? So you don't work during turn time? No. Oh, Why? Blissful. No, yeah. I just it's annoying, isn't it? Working. Oh yeah, when you've got like four thousand word <laughs> essays and stuff to do. You got me in work when you could be doing that. So, so what year are you in? Second. Oh, okay, me oh. too. Me too. Ready for it to be over, I think. I'm, I'm hitting that point oh. now. Yeah, I just want to get into the job that I want. I don't even right. want to get into a job. I just want to finish uni. Do you? Does my head in? So you're doing, you're at uni and you don't want a job in. What you studying? No, I do. I just don't want to have to work yet. Uh, but I also don't want to have to do assignments yet. Oh, that's true. <laughs> uh, well, that's true. If I had one superpower, it would definitely to pause time like Bernard's watch. That way I could stay in bed for longer in the morning and not have to get up to go to work at 9am. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In a guy, I usually look for nice looking, like a nice physique. Um, can can like hold a conversation, quite smart, well dressed, definitely well dressed, and just someone who can have a good time. He's relaxed and easy to be around. Thank you. Thank you. So got any hobbies, anything? Um, just really drinking. It's my main hobby. I mean, I'm really hungry and I feel quite <laughs> a bit bad, actually. I just had porridge before I came. <sighs> um, if she's not, like, talkative, it could just break down in communication and pretty much it just wouldn't flow as well as I would want it to. Would you, uh, would you like to well? yes. Will this blind date be love at first sight or will they fail to see eye to eye? Definitely relieved. Like I feel like it was awkward but then I feel bad because it was like the first date so maybe under normal circumstances it wouldn't have been so awkward. I'm a bit drunk. Our next contestant, Raphael, is hoping to yeah, taste the fruits of love right. and not Hi. have his date leave him with a sour taste. Right. Yeah, not bad. Just... I'm Rowie. Rowie, Raphael. I'm not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> How's it right? going anyway, yeah? Yeah, it's all right. It's a bit of a weird day. <laughs> yeah. Not my average day. <laughs> Do you first find it? Yeah, well, no. Second, obviously. Oh, right, OK, yeah. Start so, was yeah. the first. <laughs> Go well. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> it was all right. He, just a strange Would day. Would you like uh, some more drinks or anything? Oh, can I get some wine, please? Um, White wine. Yeah, please, mate. Okay. You all right? I'm Raphael De Silva, um, a law student at UConn. Most recent relationship was about a year and a half ago. It lasted for about three years, and uh, we're all good friends now, so it's all good. Most interesting thing is not very interesting to be honest. Like napping and cooking really and eating. <laughs> That's about it. Nice, nice. Do you go to UCLan? Mm-hmm. What do you study here? Retail management. Retail management. I was gonna do that. I, was basically you? I did it my first year, which I failed, so I was like, oh I'm just gonna do retail management. Did you have Cheryl? Uh, is it ahead of you? Cheryl Gordon. Yeah, yeah, Cheryl Gordon. Cheryl Gordon. I, was emailed a queen. Her. I emailed her and she was like, oh come do this course and she was explaining to me. She was like, oh yeah, it'd be good for you. And I was like but then um, law offered me to do it again, and I was just like, uh, my parents were like, you better do law. Law? Why would you pick law of a beautiful retail management? I have no idea. That's a bit, um, Cheers, buddy. Thank why, you. Why? Because, I don't know, basically. So you failed your first year? <laughs> yeah, I went out a bit too much, I think. Mm, that's not good. Fail your first year in retail management? You're having a laugh. That's like failing key stage two maths. 
So, so you do law now? Law, yeah, my last year of law. Do what you like you? it? Well, I'm in my second year of fabulous retail management. Third year's a lot harder. No, and I hate it. I genuinely just wish I did retail management. I wish I didn't go to uni. <laughs> I sort of roped into these student loans and, yeah. Oh, wow. It's so boring. I like, I'm not going to be a lawyer. I just sort of sit in the corner. What do you want to do then? After I want to go travelling. As soon as I finish this, well, I get a 2 probably. <laughs> 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 End up go travelling and maybe become a sports agent. That's Where what I'd do like you want to go travelling though? Probably around South Africa and Australia. I don't know. Everybody wants to go Australia these days. Yeah, I was just saying to the last guy that my sister lived in Australia for like six months. My sister lives there now. Mm -hmm. In uh, Queensland. Oh, okay. So if I go there, I'll be able to get a job and like live in a shed or something. <laughs> Alright then. Yeah. You don't go anywhere else? Manchester, Liverpool. Yeah. I've been going to Manchester loads recently. Where'd you go? Tiger Tiger and um, Birdcage. Mm. Birdcage is a gay club. Yeah, but I'm, I'm from I can't in Blackpool as well and everything's a gay club in Blackpool, so it's all good. <laughs> so you don't want to do anything with law? No. Well, no, just hate law. Just, I, don't even, I don't understand it. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Why do it then? I don't know, my parents were like, oh, if you do law before you get out of uni, she didn't know what to do. And I was like, all right then, I suppose it's a good Did idea. Did you just want the student life? Kind of, yeah, she didn't want a job. She wanted to like avoid real life for as long as possible. <laughs> and uh, It's all right. The first time I went to law, my drink got spiked, so it was like the best night I've ever had <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Jesus. No, yeah, I don't know. I got proposed to in a kebab shop in Liverpool once. <laughs> Lucky you. Mm -hmm. I, probably, I was probably one doing it. It's <laughs> going around. That's why I like it so much. Ego right. boost. Lucky you in Liverpool kebab shop. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all right. It's not as bad. This one, I don't know if it's because I'm getting more drunk. Yeah, maybe. So I'm the last one's probably the best pick, though. <laughs> Anyway, so if you were, if you had to see something in a guy, what would you look for? Funny. Yeah? Definitely funny. <laughs> Is that after a few drinks or? I feel like, yeah, definitely after a few drinks. So. I know it sounds shallow, but definitely good looking. Yeah. I don't know how these people say. Well, I've lost it. I'm just going to. I'm going to Just someone that you can talk to. Yeah. That can hold a conversation. I can't deal with the awkward pauses and silences that's awkward what else then what what did the guy in the, the man in the liverpool takeaway have to offer did the, oh, the, guy in the, the proposal takeaway was very charismatic oh really fashionista <laughs> in a flat cap and braces really you know? oh right <laughs> <laughs> proposing a, with a donna kebab it like yeah, under his lovely. arm he said, i said i would marry him if he bought my friends some chips so you know technically i am married oh really he did buy my friends some chips jesus sir Really, just better he not was, go on TV then. He was lovely. <laughs> no, that was a weird, weird night, as you can imagine. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, good date anyway. Yeah, it's yeah. been a lot better than the first one. <laughs> a lot nicer, a lot easier. Yeah. Would you like to see me again, maybe? At the I bio? mean, you have two other guys to compete against, and so far you, you're doing well. No, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> right, um, so, yeah. I'd like to see you again, you're a nice girl. You seem like a lot of fun. I am. I am a you're lot not of fun. You're not sneaking through fire exits <laughs> and uh, <laughs> getting proposed to, but yeah, that sounds good. Well, you make me sound like a bit of a crazy person. <laughs> just just a bit. bit all together like that. Just coming on dodgy blind dates <laughs> in uh, the media factory. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, it's just a regular Tuesday, Monday. What even day is it? Um, are you all right? Monday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Monday. a regular Monday. So, yeah. I've enjoyed it. I think it's uh, pretty good. Okay. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. everything's good. We're all good. Okay, are we you. ready for yeah. wrapping up? Okay. Yes, thank you. Like all right, yeah, cheers. Thank Thanks you. Day. I'll see you soon. Bye. See you in a bit. So will Raphael be Rowie's knight in shining armour? Or will they wish they'd spent the night alone? Day number two was good, like we had a lot more to talk about, I feel, than number one. Like we had a, a lot more in common, a lot more to kind of go off of each other, really. We both have done retail management, although he failed his first year, which is shocking. Fail your first year in retail management, you're having a laugh. A 
That's like failing key stage two maths. Our next suitor, Michael, is looking for someone like-minded and down to earth. Uh, my name is Michael and I am a student at the University of Central Lancashire in Preston and I study journalism. My longest relationship was probably, if you want to call it a relationship, I've never really been in a proper relationship. I've sort of been seeing somebody for like six months and that's probably the longest. My celebrity crush is... My celebrity crush is probably Kate Hudson when she was a bit younger. She's getting on a little bit now, nothing wrong with that, but Kate Hudson when she was a bit younger. I'm nervous, I always am nervous, I get really nervous. But I'm looking forward to it, I'm excited at the same time. So will Rowie and Michael be splitting the cheque at the end of the night? Or will they just be splitting from each other entirely? You too. <laughs> no. Dating. 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 It's a whole day. I feel like you've probably been waiting around. I have been waiting a good while. Like, yeah. It's been making me quite nervous. <laughs> I've been excited though at the same time. It's well, at least you got the dessert shift because that's the best one. Is it? Well, let's hope so. What do you? Get you any drinks or anything? Can I get wine, please? Yeah. Um, make that two, please. Two. And would you like the rosé? Yes, please. I'll have the red, please. The red. Red. Yeah. What an old woman. No, no, it's just the strongest. I feel it? like that is such an old woman. I, like I feel like I need to catch up with you. <laughs> I feel like you're way ahead of me. So then you need to be on the shots, really, because I am really far gone. Well, let's see what the offer is. Let's see the offer is the shots. I'll, I'll, it's I'll, all free. Tell you what you can get. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking forward to having this dessert. Oh, <laughs> so go on then. You were telling me. You were telling me about yourself. I feel like I'm not really that interesting. Go on. Go. Um, what have I covered? Age. Location, it's the course, I'm a beautician. Okay, well, I could probably tell. Obviously. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, there's your red and there's your rose. Thank you, Thank you very, very much. much. So, what do you do? Well, I'm 22. Mm -hmm. I, um, I'm from Liverpool, in case you couldn't tell. I kind of picked up on that one. Yeah, no one ever really asks me where I'm from, <laughs> no one really has to. Um, I'm a student, I'm a master's student actually at uh, UCLan in Preston, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I've had one year left and I am so ready to leave now. All right, it's one of those things that like, to be fair, because I'm, I'm on journalism and you ask people what they want to do and they're like, oh, I really want to be like reporting from Syria and going to these war-torn countries and all that. And it's interesting that maybe like one day I might be something to do, but at the minute I kind of want to do something like news round. Yeah. I want to like work in kids' telly and stuff. That is well paid though, you know, kids' TV. I've heard. I mean, to be honest, when I was younger, I used to be like, somebody used to ask me what I wanted to do. I was like, I don't care whatever pays the most. And I've done so many like crap jobs. I feel like it's important to enjoy. Oh, God, you've got to. What you're doing, because you spend so much time at work. 100%. Like, I, you have to enjoy it. It's like 50 years of your life. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, like, I, I'm, that's like the, dr the dream, you know. <clears throat> that's definitely like, up there as seeing yeah the i would there. love to like go and work abroad like in america or somewhere oh yeah in a girl i look for somebody that is outgoing adventurous likes to have a laugh but um just getting the jobs not america's a bit difficult green card and all that mm. i did um, study abroad out there lived in california for six months mm. yeah my second year so that was really what cool. was that like most surreal most surreal thing it was weird because they you know the reason i wanted to do it was because um you know you sort of grow, grow up watching i'm for being me i'm hungry i'm starving <laughs> but i'm trying to like be polite and not talk with my mouthful um but you know the way you sort of watch it when you're kids on the telly and see on like the american colleges and stuff mm -hmm. like that that's the reason i wanted to go and i wanted to go to a warm place and as far away as i could so i thought california perfect so you get over there and it's exactly, it's exactly what, you know, it's a look at it. It's exactly what you imagine it to be like. Yeah. So you turn, they've got like the big roundabouts at the front and you see them all pulling up in the convertibles and stuff. And because you're, and they love us, because you're English, you're yeah. over there and it's like, you're the English guy. So you're walking down around the campus and it's like, oh, Michael, you're the English guy. You get invited to like, they're like uh, what do they call like fraternity parties yeah. and all of that. 
Everything okay here, guys? Can I get another drink, please? Another drink, yeah. Thank you. And you have you finished with these? <laughs> yeah, I'm done with mine, thank yeah. you. Have you finished or do you want some Yeah, more? I'm all right, thanks. Yeah. Thanks very much, though. So, do you guys believe in love at first sight, though? Oh, yeah, I'll I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Go on, I'll let you. Do you yeah, really? I do. I think so, yeah. I have another question, then. I wish they would bring more wine over. I have another question. Why, pre how come you stayed in Preston? Not that Preston isn't great. Um, I really wanted to go to Manchester Met. Okay. Um, but then I found out that the retail management degree at UConn is the best one in the country. So okay. I was like, it's really about the course more, that's isn't what, it? That's and what I, I assumed, if you ask me. Friends have only about me summers away. Me summers away? I did, I was goofy at Disney World last year. My friend went and worked at Disney World. She was uh, Daffy Duck, oh Dis right. Daisy Duck, I mean. When did she do it? Like two years ago, I think it was. Two or three years ago. Was she from Preston? Yeah. What did she say it was like? She loved it. But she said it was, like, it was weird when she was like, you had to like get the <laughs> autographs like really specific. specific like yeah. that was weird to me. Like I didn't think, you don't think that much into it, do you not? No, not at all. I mean, to be fair, Goofy's one of the easier ones. I have to do Goofy, Mr. Incredible, uh, Hook, Captain Hook. Uh, for Lou from the Jungle Books, we did loads, so I had to remember. I was getting the two of them, and sometimes like the shifts were so long, I'd end up writing Google and yeah. sort of goofy. Is everything all right here? Yeah, yes, it's going thank well. You. Have you had a good day? Yes, it's thank been, you. It's been really good, yeah. Are you ready to wrap up? Uh, uh, yes, thank bell. you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah? yeah. Okay, would you like to follow me? Thank you very much. It was nice to meet you. I'll see you see again. You again. Bye. Bye. So now our contestants, Happily Ever After, is in the hands of Rowie. Who? if anyone has swept her off her feet. I did enjoy it. I, I don't know if it was maybe because it was dessert that made me enjoy it more because that's obviously the best course out of the three. But that was maybe like most, most easy. But maybe that was because I was into it. I was already drinking kind of thing. Like things were flowing a bit more by then. The only thing I really had in common with Michael was that we both was interested in like traveling and like going going new places. Uh, like physically, attraction maybe Raphael. Just I don't know. He kind of fitted what I was usually into. But the last guy, Michael, he just had a bit. He just had a bit more about him that I could talk and chat to. I thought it went very well. Uh, conversation carried on flowing and just had a great time. Um, highlight was pretty much when we were talking about embarrassing things that has happened um, because it got a bit like jokey so we we had a laugh. Um, there wasn't a worse part to the date I thought. I would like to see my date again yes. Yeah it went pretty well I enjoyed her she's a nice girl she's pretty good looking so yeah quite enjoyed it. First impressions were like she was look quite attractive and then when I got chatting to her, she had a decent talk about her, so yeah, all good. Uh, highlight of the day was probably, that was pretty fun. Both had a laugh, didn't we? So yeah, free meal, bit of free beers, sound. Yeah, I'd like to see her again, she's a nice girl. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing her again. I think it went well. She's really good looking, she's a nice girl. Yeah, she's got a good personality. She's interesting. Yeah, it's good. It good talking to her. The highlight of the date, um, I think we covered a lot. Uh, I, liked it, I liked talking to her about what she was wanting to do. I liked when she was telling me about uh, how she's been working in beauty for eight years and stuff. And yeah, it was interesting to, to, to learn about what she, what she wanted to do after university. I would like to see her again, yes. Uh, I, I had a really good time and I thought we got on really well and I'd like to see where it goes. So now our contestants' happily ever after is all in the hands of Rowie. Who, if anyone, has swept her off her feet?
pick Michael last guy just because we had something about him and he was like easy to talk to and he could hold a conversation and he just seems like a nice guy. Second date, more food, really, just eating and cinema. What else could you want? So romance is struck for Rowie and Michael. Tune in next time to see if anyone else makes a romantic reservation.